What's up you guys, my name is Nigel Jones. I'm a professional skateboarder and I'm here today to teach you how to put a skateboard together. Start to finish, we're gonna do it together. It's about to be fun. So, watch the whole video. All right, y'all ready? We're gonna do it. So, I think building your skateboard by yourself is better because you get to kind of get intimate with your skateboard, you know, you get to understand it while you put it together. And it's a process that I feel like everyone needs to know. Skateboard essentials you need. Grip tape, it goes on top of the board. Keeps everything nice and tight like, you know what I'm saying? Grippy, obviously, it's grip tape. Second thing you're gonna need, skateboard. I brought STS, it's my brand, because I'm biased, so this is what we're gonna set up today. I got independents, they're gonna go on here, they help you grind, turn, all that stuff. You're gonna need some wheels, which go on the trucks, obviously to help you roll. You gotta be a player and be rolling around the park, you know? Stunting, so you're gonna need some wheels. What goes in the wheels? Bearings, don't worry, I brought some for you. We're gonna show you how to throw those in too. It's easy, kind of. I'm gonna explain. You got your hardware that connects the trucks to the board. You got eight bolts. Some of y'all gonna lose your bolts. Aww. Don't worry about it. The last thing you need with the grip tape, you're gonna have to cut it. So you need a razor blade, throw that on there, and then a T-tool, it's essential. It's tighten trucks, loosen them, put wheels on, take them off, all that. If you don't have a drill, T-tool is your best friend. Whoa. Let's start with the grip tape. My favorite thing to do is grip skateboards. Bring out the freshie. All right, I placed this on top of this box because when I get to cutting it, I would like to have it elevated so my hand can get, you know, underneath the board. So you can do the old school way of putting on grip is to start from the back, go to the front. Mob got the holes in it so you don't get air bubbles. So all you gotta do is line up your grip and on both sides, start from the middle. Boom, look at that, look at that. One thing to prevent getting bubbles is if you don't have mob and you don't push it out, I mean, with the perforated holes, it obviously helps. But if you don't have mob, start from the back and just like work your way forward. I pull it to the side this way and then make sure that I can see like, oh, I'm pushing all these air bubbles out. Slowly getting that forward. Some shops have rollers, which it's, it's a stick with a wheel and you can help push the grip and you just, throughout the whole board. Push everything down. Grip tape has been applied. We gonna file the sides of your grip tape down. It's a, a disgusting sound. I'm sorry, y'all gotta hear this, but it's also satisfying to skaters. <laughs> Proper technique for this. Usually a single edge razor is your, your best friend. Like the, the bulky ones that are sharp on the end, mm, pop in. Smooth, long pull. Just rest your thumb on the razor, as well as the board a little bit. Don't push too hard. Be smooth with it. One sweep. <laughs> the way it cuts, the way it looks, the way it feels, especially when you have a brand new razor, it's like butter. After you cut it, some people don't do this, but I do. <laughs> I take the grip tape, and then you're gonna press down the edges so that if you don't press down the edges beforehand, I mean, you're gonna have more likely of your grip tape folding up when you're doing flip tricks. Take that, pull it all the way around. Looks so good, feels so good. Poking these holes. If you're in the hood and you, got, you, don't, you don't have something to poke a hole, you just take your screws, throw them in there. I throw all four real quick. Take a truck. Boom. Those are th now you got the holes. I am making sure that I have the holes through the grip tape to be able to throw on our trucks. So I always go one, two, three, four, like corners and then other corners. Why? Because I have OCD. Just place these through. Uh, two. Three and four. Poke those through. And now you got your hardware. 
to be able to throw your trucks on. And that's what we're going to do is throw our trucks on. Your kingpin, which is this bolt right here, they face each other. So your kingpin is always going to face inward. Trying to get into like this area is mission impossible. Next step, you got to tighten your trucks on there. It's a lot easier with a drill. If you have a drill, use it. If you don't, I recommend a silver tool because that, go ahead and tighten these down. Uh, so my left hand, I am pushing in this Phillips into the screw, my right hand with the ratchet tool, ratcheting down this first bolt. And don't go too far though. If you do go too far, make sure to back it out a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna tighten it a little bit right there. And then just to relieve that pressure that's on the screw, back it off a half a turn. But boom, trucks are on there. They're secure, they're not wobbly. Bearings, wheels. Um, if you don't have a bearing press, easy thing you can do is unscrew one side of your trucks. Make sure you keep your, your washers. Bearing, if it has a shield on the front side and not a shield on the back side, just like that, you're gonna want, obviously your shield facing out, so you're gonna go down, wheel, and press down. Ugh. After you got that in, what I like to do is take this bolt, just to have it seat right, tighten that baby down. Don't go too tight. So right here, there's still wiggle room. Haven't touched the bearing yet. Check it again. I'm on the bearing. Whoa. All I'm gonna do is do half a turn. And if it starts sinking in, we're good to go. See, it's sinking a little bit, boom. Solid, now it's sitting flush. Okay, unscrew that. When you skate, your bearings are gonna seat themselves. So I mean, just make sure that it's not too wobbly when you start. Then you got one washer, truck, Tighten that on there. You want a little bit of play in your wheels. You can hear that. Do that, rinse, repeat. All right, this is the, the final product, the board we done put together for you guys. We're gonna go outside and test it, make sure it works. If it don't, I'll give you your money back that I didn't I didn't even give you money, so you ain't getting nothing back. But it should work. I'm just letting you know. If you followed these steps, they crystal clear. Let's go outside and test it. See how it goes. <laughs>